Hello everyone, welcome back to this new video of uh, Gyanve. So today we are going to solve the question which came in gate 2016 16 for process dynamics and control. So let us begin with the first equation. So in this question, uh, we are asked to do the match the following. So the conductivity meter is given, turbine meter is given, piezo resistivity element is given. So turbine, here yeah, turbine, turbine is used for flow. We already know turbine is used for flow. So you can match this with flow. So Q is equal to one. So here this uh, is wrong and this one is wrong. So maybe first or third question, third option is right. Now piezo resistivity element, piezo is the term used for pressure always. So R is equal to two. So here, r is equal to 2 in this option only so this is the right answer for this question and p is equal to 3 conductivity meter is equal to come is used for com measuring the composition so this uh, d is the right answer for this question now the next question is what is the order of response exhibited by youtube manometer so you should learn this that youtube manometer is used for the second order reaction sorry the response for the youtube manometer comes as second order transfer uh, function now this next question is uh, we are asked that inverse response for an inverse response at a unit step change in the input which of the following statement must necessarily be satisfied so inverse response in the inverse response the zeros one of the zero should be positive so this d is the right answer for this question so you should understand what is poles and what is zeros that if we are uh, if we are given with z minus 1 upon z plus 2 plus z plus 3 then this these are the poles and these are the zeros so z equal to minus 2 z equal to minus 3 these are the poles and z equal to 1 is zeros so in you should not get confused you can learn this by this thing that this whole z minus 1 upon z minus 3 uh, z minus 4 this will become 0 when it will become 0 this will become 0 when z minus 1 will be equal to 0 so this is 0 and this is pole the other one is so z minus 1 uh, this is uh, 0 so for the inverse response inverse response at least 1 uh, 1 0 should be positive now the next question which came uh, was uh, a liquid flows through a equal percentage wall so equal percentage wall is given and by knowing this equal percentage wall you should remember the formula for equal percentage wall that is, is that fi equal to f naught e to the power a into x so this is the formula for equal percentage wall now here the rate is given 2 meter cube per hour and the wall is 10 percent open so 2 meter cube per hour equal to f naught e to the power a into 0 0.1 now when the wall open to 20 percent wall open to 20 percent flow rate increases to 3 meter cube per hour so 3 equal to f naught e to the power a into 0 0.1 now we can divide both the equation let it be second one this one will be first equation so second divided by first equation is equal to 3 by 2 equal to e to the power e to the power this is 0 0.2 this is 0 0.2 since 20 percent is given so e to the power a 0 0.2 minus 0 0.1 0 0.2 minus 0 0.1 so this is equal to 3 by 2 equal to e to the power 0 0.1 a now the third condition is given that when a wall open to 50 percent now we need to find the flow rate so at 50 percent f i will be equal to f naught e to the power 0 0.5 a now we can divide this third equation this third equation by first equation so dividing the third equation by first equation will give us f i upon 2 equal to e to the power 0 0.4 a 0 0.4 a so now now we have this thing that uh, 
3 by 2 equal to e to the power 0 0.1 a and we have this f i equal to 2 e to the power 0 0.4 of a. So this 0 0.4 of a, this e to the power 0 0.4 of a is equal to e to the power 0 0.1 a to the power 4. This is equal to this thing. So you should know uh, this thing. Now, so this is equal to fourth power of 0 0.1 a. So f is equal to 2. We can write it as e to the power 0 0.1 a to the power 4. Now if this is equal to f equal to 2 into e to the power 0 0.1 a is equal to 3 by 2. So 3 by 2, 2 into 3 by 2 to the power 2 to the power 4 and it will come out as 81, 81 upon 8. So this is the right answer for this question. 81 upon 8 will come as 10, 10 point, 10 point 0, 10 point uh, 0, uh, 10, 10 point 0, 1, 5. So this is the right answer for this question. It is 10. Now the next question is the PI controller with integral time constant is 0 0.1 minute is uh, to be designed to control a process with transfer function. So we are given this transfer function time constant for PI controller is given as 0 0.1. Now we are given in the transfer function GM and GF is equal to 1 and we need to find gain of the controller that will constitute the critical condition of stability for PI feedback control system. Now, so at PI pi control system is equal to kc uh, 1 plus 1 upon tau i s so you should know this uh, for the critical point we will write kc 1 plus 1 upon tau i s into the transfer into transfer function which is given as 10 upon s square plus 2s plus 100 so this is the uh, this is was the question. So 1 plus 1 plus kc tau is given tau i is given as 1 plus 1 upon tau i is given as 0 0.1 I think yes s into 10 upon s square plus 2s plus 100. Now on solving we will get 0 0.1 s into s square plus 2s plus 100 equal to no, plus no plus kc into 0 0.1 s plus 1 into 10 so this is the thing on solving 0.1 s cube 0.1 s cube plus uh, 0.1 s cube plus 0.2 s square plus 10 s 10 s 10 s plus 0.1 kc s plus 0.1 not this will be equal to 1 so 1 kc plus s plus and this will be equal to 10 kc so this came at out as 0.1 s cube plus 0.2 s square plus 10 plus kc s plus 10 kc. So we got the equation that is 0.1 s cube plus 0.2 s square plus 10 plus kc into s plus 10 kc so now we can apply the rao theory analysis the rao theory analysis uh, in this form we write this is a this is b this coefficient is c and this is d so we write it as a uh, we write it in the form of this a upon b this c is d so we can write in this form so 0 0.1 
zero point two and c is ten plus k c and d is ten ten. So now this is now here we write here what we write here we write this multiplication into this multiplication that is a uh, that is b c b c plus b c plus uh, b c plus a d b c minus a d b c minus a d upon b c minus a d upon b so this is equal to b c minus a d upon b so here the b c minus a d will be equal to so 2 2 plus 0 0.2 kc minus minus this is 10 kc so 10 kc so, uh, so so this is equal to kc upon upon 0 0.2 so this will be equal to so this should come positive this should come positive if if the controller need want to be stable so controller will be stable only when this term this term will be positive but we need the critical condition for stability the point after which the point after which the system will become unstable so when this this system will be, tends to become negative then this uh, system will become unstable so this will be equal to 0 when 2 plus 0 0.2 kc minus kc uh, upon 0 0.2 is equal to 0 so at this point at this point uh, the value uh, the value of kc which will come uh, which will be equal to critical condition will be the critical condition for the stability of pi controller so this is equal to 2 minus 0 0.8 kc equal to 0 and this will come out as 2 upon 0 0.8 equal to kc which is equal to 0 0.25 so this is the right answer for this question so now the, the next question is in this question uh, we are given a unit stop response for the second order system uh, we need not to do anything uh, with this uh, term so do not worry uh, by seeing this question this question seems to be hard but it is not hard the overshoot for the system is given and we are asked to uh, we are asked the natural period of oscillation so natural period of oscillation is equal to is always equal to t n equal to 2 pi tau 2 pi tau so in this 2 pi we already know two, the value of 2 pi now we just need to find what is tau so the value of tau can be found out by the value of tau, tau can find this overshoot is given already this overshoot is given so overshoot is overshoot is equal to what is overshoot what is overshoot overshoot is always this value how much it is going above the stability point this is the reference one how much it is going this one and this one so this value divides let's say this is a and let's say this is b so this value is b and this value is a so a upon b is equal to overshoot always a upon b is equal to overshoot so now here the overshoot will be here the overshoot will be 100 upon 100 upon uh, this is uh, 250 minus 350 that is 100 here it is 3 for 3 430 minus 350 that is 80 equal to overshoot so this is the overshoot now now sorry the overshoot is b upon a b upon a so b upon a means 80 upon 100 will be overshoot that is 0 0.8 so 0 0.8 equal to is given as exponential minus pi zeta upon root 1 minus zeta square so when you will solve this means in this whole equation the zeta is only the unknown so when you will find this value of zeta it will come out as 0 0.071 so here the value of zeta is 0 0.071 now we got zeta with this equation now we need to find what tau so how we can find the value of tau so we should know the period of oscillation so what is period of oscillation so 
period of oscillation is equal to is equal to 2 pi tau 2 pi tau upon root 1 minus zeta square so here uh, we have the period of oscillation from one peak to another peak the period of oscillation is complete one cycle so one cycle is completing from here this peak and here so this minus this will be equal to this is 150 and this will be 50 so 150 minus 50 that is 100 so 100 equal to 2 pi tau upon root 1 minus zeta square so in this way you can find the value of tau which will come out as the tau value will come out as 15.9 15.9 so the tau value will come out as 15.9 now now what you can do you got the value of tau then natural period of oscillation the natural period of oscillation will be equal to 2 pi tau 2 pi tau so 2 into 2 into pi pi into tau tau is 15.9 15.9 so now this will come out as 99.9026 so this is the final answer for this question the natural period of oscillation but uh, here it is given as 100 here it is given as 100 they have not they are given the value of overshoot but they have not given the period of oscillation so period of oscillation is this thing so that's why the question this question was discarded and uh, the everyone everyone who gave the gate 2016 a paper everyone was given uh, the marks the complete marks for this question so there was marks for all uh, in gate 2016 for this question but the solution for this question is this so uh, that's it for today and this was the solution for process dynamics and control and if you have any doubts and if you want to have any comments you can post on our facebook group Gyanway. so that's it thank you thank you very much